If you want to speed up your video production workflow and you already have the Atomos Ninja 5 or 5 Plus, then you need to get the Atomos Connect because it is the fastest way to send video proxies to your editor the moment you stop recording. I'm also going to show you some real world examples of how I was able to send video proxies to several creators from different locations. But first, let me show you how I set it up. So setting it up is actually really simple. First, remove the drive and the battery from the back of the Ninja 5 or 5 Plus, and then attach the Atomos Connect and slide it down until it clicks like so. You can also secure the Atomos Connect to your monitor by using the two thumb screws on the side of the Connect, and then return the drive and the battery back to the monitor. And then you're going to take the two longer antennas. These are the Wi-Fi 6 antennas that allows you to connect to your Wi-Fi at home or at the studio. Or if you prefer to use Ethernet connection, there is a gigabit Ethernet on the back of the device as well. Attach them on the top like so, and then attach the smaller antenna, which is the RF antenna, which allows for wireless time code sync across multiple Atomex devices at long ranges. Attach the antenna on the back of the Connect like so. Oh, and uh, also on the back is a 12G SDI input. Now, in order for you to actually use the Connect, you're gonna have to do a few things. First, you're gonna have to have an Atomos Cloud account as well as a Frame.io account. Once you've made those accounts, you can now pair the Atomos Connect with the Atomos Cloud Studio. Before that, just make sure that your Atomos device is connected to the Wi-Fi. Just go to the settings on your Ninja 5 or 5 Plus, go to the Wi-Fi tab and connect to your Wi-Fi. Once that's set, go to the Connect tab and you're gonna see a button that says Pair. On your computer, make sure to open up the Atomos Cloud Studio on your browser and there you're going to see a button that says pair device. Tap on the pair button and there you're going to use three codes to pair your device to your Atomos Cloud Studio account. Those words will be found on your Atomos device and whatever those words are, just type it in on your browser. And now your Atomos Connect is connected to your Atomos Cloud Studio account. And then from there, you can give your device a nickname if you want. And then the final step is to add a destination. Tap on the plus button and select whatever platform that you want to send those proxy files to. And since we want to be using Frame.io, I'm going to click on the Frame.io button. And then when you open up Frame.io, you're going to see a folder that says Cloud Devices. And this will be the folder that your Atomos Connect will be sending those video proxies to. Done. I know it's a whole thing setting it all up, but once everything is connected, you're now able to send video proxies wirelessly. And what's cool about those proxies is that it's gonna be the same file name as the original video files, meaning that once you or your editor has made a first assembly cut using those proxies, you can swap out the proxies with the original video files because they have the same file name. That is so cool because you don't wanna export a final video using video proxies because they are gonna be lower resolution. You wanna be able to export a video using the original video files. So pretty cool that the video proxies and the original media files share the same name. All right, so we're gonna do a real world demo of the Atomos Connect. We got Jay Littman in uh, Columbus, Ohio, who should be receiving the proxy files uh, from my end. And so Jay, I'm just gonna film about five seconds in my house over here. Everything should be connected to the cloud. We have frame IO open up uh, on both ends, uh, just so we can see. Uh, let's see how it works, yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, all right, here we go. And I'm gonna start recording right now. One, two, three, four, five. All right, in the moment I stop recording, theoretically, the Connect should upload straight to the Atomos Cloud Studio, integrated with Frame.io. Uh, it looks like, yeah, it's, uh, it's processing right now. And on my end, uh, I could actually see the folder being created and the files being created. Folders created over here too. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> wow. That was an instant. That's cool. Oh man, that is that's amazing. Okay. Um that's that's it. That's great. That that yeah, took up like there. what? I got the file right there. Wow. Okay. I got the file here. Okay, awesome. First test, a success. All right, test number two. Uh, I'm with Photo Joseph, who's all the way in Oregon right now. We're gonna do the same test. Uh, Joseph, I'm gonna record five seconds uh, of something in my living room. And now that you're connected to the same project folder with Frame.io, you should theoretically receive those proxy files, hopefully within seconds. Awesome. All right, here we go. All right, got my Atomos. It's gonna record, uh, let's just, actually let's record the, the camera. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so now that it's finished recording, the Atomos Connect will send that proxy to the cloud. And uh, I have uh, Frame.io opened up on my browser and I'm hoping something shows up on my end. Yep, something has showed up. It just happened here. Really? Yep. Wow, like no, that. It wasn't a full clip. Okay, so it was a folder. It says generating thumbnails. There we go, I've got a clip. And that is awesome. Opening, can, you scrub, can you scrub through? Now I can play. And it, it's still, there we go, now it's playing. 
Wow, that is <laughs> that. Is, well, how many seconds was that? Like after I pre- uh, stopped recording. I, it wasn't many. I guess we should have set a timer, but that was pretty awesome. That is crazy cool. Awesome. Test number two, success. All right, in test number three, we are with Michael Tobin, who's at a store, <laughs> who was kind enough to let me interrupt his day. Uh, we're just gonna do a, a test, the same test again, but this time using the Frame.io app on his phone. All right, you ready, Michael? I'm ready. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna record. I'm gonna record you. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and theoretically, that should uh, that video file should send a proxy to the cloud, uh, to Frame.io, uh, and I'm, I'm hoping it works well uh, as you're receiving it in a store. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I see something processing. Yeah? There it is, there, there's my face. That is That's crazy, right and, it's, and it's on my uh, computer. Oh, you could, you could scrub through it? You oh could... yeah, I can scrub through it, I can add comments, I can draw on it. Oh, <gasps> wow. That is crazy. Full frame IO experience. And are you using the store's Wi-Fi or the the internet on your phone? No, I mean I'm out of the country right now and pretty low Wi-Fi on <laughs> uh, just cellular. So I mean that was that was ridiculously fast. And for everyone watching right now, where where are you filming from right now? I'm in Toronto, Canada, right now. You're in Canada. There you go. Very cool. Awesome. Test number three. Huge success. So final thoughts on Atomos Connect. I think it's such a great device. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but I think the fact that you can just wirelessly send video proxies immediately after you stop recording to your editor or to Frame.io is such an efficient way to speed up the video production workflow. Like the way that a lot of us have been doing is that once we film our videos, we will take out our SD card, import it into our computer, gather our footage for our editor on an SSD drive, or meet up with your editor to hand over your SSD drive. It, it's a whole thing. But with Atomos Connect, you can immediately immediately send video proxies to your editor the moment you stop recording, which is a huge, huge time saver when it comes to the video production process.